Hi there, here's a quick video on how you can set up and create your own My Blueprint staff account. First things first, you need to head over to Brightspace. So a number of you go through the board website, you can click here, and that will take you here. And that'll be the same thing when you click on eHub. I think most of us know how to do this by now. Once you're here, enter your username and password, and click login. Once you've logged into Brightspace, you'll see our pathway planning icon up here on the, in the top nav bar, and you'll see the brand new icon to my blueprint. So click on that. Choose your account. Most of you should just see your one account here, your necdsb.ca account. If you don't see your account listed here, click on use another account. Put in your board email address and your password again. You'll only have to do this one time. And now that will take you into my blueprint. And now we'll go through the setup process. Select your school. Elementary teachers will click on elementary. High school teachers clearly will click on Gorman High School. And then click your role. Choose your grade that you teach. And then you're going to enter your name. Choose your language and agree. You can also choose French. Then you'll click on select schools, add your school and click continue. You'll see the account requires approval. That will go to one of the admins of my blueprint. You can leave a message or press continue and it takes you to the welcome to my blueprint screen. Once you have been approved to my blueprint, you'll see an email from my blueprint and it will say account approved and login instructions. So now we're back at the main page of Brightspace again. We've already got our email saying that account's been approved. So now you can go back to the pathway planning icon and click on my blueprint. It should take you right into my blueprint. And here we are. Now you have created your staff account. You can look around. You can see what it'll look like for your students. The next step that we'll be sending you is getting started with your students. So for now, this is all you have to do. Get in, get your account set up. You can take a look around at, at the dashboard, the activities, and, and play around a little bit. In the next parts, we'll be telling you how you can create your class, add some students, and things like that. But student accounts haven't been created yet. So I hope this helps you get set up. If you run into any issues during that process, let me know. But that's the quick and simple way that you can set up your teacher account for my blueprint. And as always, let me know if you have any questions. Take care.